Hi guys, Ashley here. Today we are here with Verena, who is the head of startup grind in Berlin. <laughs> Yay! Tell us a bit more what's happening in startup ecosystem right now in Germany. Where is it moving? There's been a couple of shifts in the past year or two. Right, right. Well, I mean, like, for what do you know, Germany, you know, Germany, especially for Berlin, because yeah. I mean, Berlin is the startup hub and Obviously, I mean, there like there's a lot going on. People appreciate Berlin because of its like really cheap cost of living, yeah, and um, that attracts people. And also, there are a lot of initiatives um, helping entrepreneurs to get actually started from from universities, from accelerators, incubators. We see they're all like based in, in Berlin, but <coughs> I'm 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 now based in <coughs> sorry. I'm uh, based in Munich, and what I saw there is actually also a shift going to, to Munich, which is yeah. actually the, the second biggest startup hub in uh, in Germany. And I saw, like, especially in terms of mobility, yeah. um, like BMW is, is based here, yeah, right? Yeah. The big, the big car manufacturers are all here. Yeah, exactly, and also like. Um, from all the universities, like Unternehmerschaft, for example, there are a lot of initiatives who are like really supporting young entrepreneurs, mm. and like we have like all these people having really strong technical expertise, mm. and they're bringing in um, to play with all these programs. Mm. So um, in a couple of years, we have a lot of unicorns also from here. Not only fix for us, but you also have like strong startups mm. in the in the area of autonomous driving, mm. um, like from like Blickfell having all these sensory startups, mm. IoT startups. So I think like yes, Berlin, this is like still number one, but we see like this major shift, especially in terms of mobility heading to Munich, mm. and um, and uh, yeah, I think this is actually fantastic to see that there are more cities involved. And uh, we would with Startup Grind, of course, we also want to promote it. We want to have more startups happening mm. in Germany. That's why now we are really proud. What are the next cities, apart from Munich, Berlin? What do you think are going to be the next cities for you know, startup <laughs> hub innovation? Hamburg, definitely. Also, yeah. Hamburg is a, I mean, it's, it's quite amazing also to see what, what's happening there. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of like new startups arising from this world. And we with Startup Grind, we actually want to promote it. So we have no, like, Startup, um, we have no um, startup grind also in Frankfurt, we have it in Berlin, Bremen, and um, we have it in Stuttgart, all these small cities because we think there's a lot of potential within mm -hmm. these cities as well. And, um, and what is the composition of startups, um, let's say in Berlin and Munich right now, as the biggest one? So you said Munich is primarily uh, automotive and mobility, yeah. but what about Berlin? So what are they? Are they AI? Are they hard engineering? Like, what yeah. are people good at? Yeah, yeah, I mean, in Berlin, obviously, I mean, probably you know, um, there's like, for example, a lot of in AI, for example, Fabian Westerheider, he, for example, he has a lot of like conferences and there are a lot of like startups in the AI area. But um, I, I wrote to VC as well, what I saw, um, Berlin is especially strong also for FinTech, for the yeah, whole blockchain area. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we have not only N26, but you have like Mambu, you have Smava, which was the first, actually the first FinTech um, company in, in Germany. And wow. um, you see all these marketplaces, mm. um, marketplaces for, for loans, for, for all kinds of uh, areas within FinTech. Right. And, um, this is, I think, um, amazing. And Do you think that, uh, I mean, Germany, I live in Asia, right? And uh, the Silicon Valley is also coming up with a lot of innovation, this and that. But, um, Germany is, in many ways, not so digitally advanced yet in yeah. terms of everyday true. life, That's right? Do you think this is um, preventing yeah. more startups uh, in those areas to actually get access to funding or even appear? Because, because the innovation needs to be linked to the daily realities of life. Yeah. And when the realities of life are so far away yeah. from yeah. what we're trying to do, push around yeah. the world. Yeah. I think this has two sides because yeah. on one hand I definitely see your point and I think like for example Germany is one of the nations where people hate to, to pay with cards. They always say you always cash. have to pay cash. cash. It's, it's a cash economy. Seriously it's a cash economy. But um, on the other hand I think what, what I observe is that this is also a This is what, what people when young people go on the world and they see like the differences especially like in Asia and, and yeah. Yeah. then they, they come back and I think like why is this why, why are we still there? So I think um, this is 
is like a trigger point for people to say, hey, why not try to, to change that? And, and you see that um, also like in, in, in the fintech world, also, especially also in the food um, area. Yeah. There's a lot happening. You know, people want to make it easier. And in terms of agriculture, agri tech? Yeah. 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 Agriculture is, is one thing, but also like in terms of, you know, you have like these really long circles when you go to a restaurant. It's like uh, yeah. really old school. Wow. And people are trying Very to good. change this whole system. Right. And um, I think. And this this is really nice that people it is one thing disappointing, but people take it also as a motivation to change something here in Germany. Absolutely. Even if it's slow. Absolutely, absolutely. How do you see the future? Of, uh, of Europe, yeah, I think this is an exciting question that many of you are asking. Uh, we know that uh, in many digital areas right now, it's not yet that advanced and, you know, uh, as you said, people are living uh, slightly in denial. Uh, they don't want to change to mobile payments, mobile uh, or digital way of life, etc., etc. There are some smart companies that are pushing it forward, but people... Yeah. are the ones that are driving the yeah. change. So how do you see the you know, the future of, uh, of Germany as uh, Europe's biggest economy and yeah. Europe in general? Where is it going to be in 10 years from now? Are they going to be lagging or are they going to up their game? What needs to happen in terms of changing the culture and uh, the uh, adoption of all these things in order for Europe to be uh, future ready and relevant? Yeah. I think like one thing you definitely see is that um, young people they are now in a really in a mindset switch. Yeah. They they really want they really want to have more innovation here. And this, uh, but I think what what needs to be done to get there, you need to have the infrastructure to allow that. You need to have, you need to kind of like adapt the whole system. And this is why it takes a long time. And mm. what, what what do I mean with that? I also mean that like traditional jobs like corporates, for example. I mean they also need to understand that they need to adapt to the like new behavior of people. Mm. So um, I mean what we see is definitely people want to um, work more remote. People yeah. want to like have this lifestyle. They want to like travel more while working. And yeah. I think if you look at like the corporates, it definitely there is there are some initiatives, mm. and they are also partnering with like a lot of co-working spaces to mm. make it easier. But I think there's way more potential. When you ask me now, right. ten years Europe, I think there's no other chance than that corporates like are doing more and more partnerships or are doing more and more offering more and more programs for the employees mm. um, so that they can have a more remote lifestyle, mm. more lifestyle that, that doesn't force them to like be in one place but still being affiliated with a company. Yeah. So you believe that corporates are the ones that are going to be driving the change, not uh, not uh, government, not uh, not the realization that oh my god the rest of the world is way ahead of us and we really need to step up. Yeah, it's the corporates that are running. I think a lot I of think, I think it's the system and probably all have to like play the game, but um, I, I see, I mean, you see it in Germany, there are a lot of startups, and of course, in the next years, there will be more and more, I, I'm sure of that, and I'm sure there will be new areas, but I think, like, to to um, make or to include more people in the whole new change, corporates are a big part of it. Absolutely. And finally, what is your hope? Uh, for the future of startup ecosystem uh, here in Germany and in Europe, um, you are a big part uh, as startup grind shaping this ecosystem. So, what kind of people would you like to see entering it? What kind of help do you need? What kind of basically? What is your hope? Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm kind of bored of this unicorn like discussion <laughs> because I think there are like so many I great. Love it. I love it. There's so many great entrepreneurs outside, and I think. I kind of want to like support those people more. I think we are moving into a bit more microfunding. I think like these big deals of I mean, they're billions still there of and dollars. It, 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 it's yeah. good, but I mean, look outside. There are like more and more like people having a solo business. More and more people mm. like getting into entrepreneurship, and this is nice. And we should promote it as well. It doesn't have to be like taking stress from them because obviously I mean, not all of them like have the capacity for that. Yeah. But getting support for those people because this is I think where we should go into more entrepreneurial economy. So this is my hope that, that we support more smaller and um, solar entrepreneurs. And uh, on that uh, on that question, just a final final question: um, If somebody is a solo entrepreneur but they are not in the digital space. Is there still hope for them? Will anyone want to support them, give them funding and uh, an ecosystem? Or does it need to be digital? Does it need to be tech? Does it need to be new future, new energy, new mobility? I think there are definitely areas where 
digital is not the main driver. Just look at, I mean, all like the older people, the elderly people here in our yeah. society. What they need is not tech, what they need is the human touch. To them. Being like someone caring for them because they, because what we see is like so many people are traveling and that people are like, we are also in a society of loneliness, kind of yeah. for, for especially for older people. And I think definitely there is also potential to help their, you know, not really digital way, but obviously in general, I think all the areas we all benefit from this digital economy. Digital well. economy, absolutely. Thank you so much Thank for being you. with us today. It was absolutely phenomenal. And guys, when you're in Germany, in Berlin, make sure to check out Startup Grind events to meet other amazing entrepreneurs. And of course, the phenomenal organizers that know that ecosystem really well and help them shape the future going forward. Till soon. Bye.